In our previous tutorial, we derived the potential difference formula. Consider this a continuation of that as we explore a few worked examples where we'll be required to use that formula. We have a question here, two point charges, 15 microcoulombs and 7 microcoulombs. We have 15 microcoulombs here and the 7 microcoulombs, respectively, these are 6 centimeters apart. Find the work done in bringing them 2 centimeters apart. So these two are initially 6 centimeters apart. And now we want to find how much work we will need to do to bring them 2 centimeters apart. So now, for us to find the work done, we need to assume that one of them is stationary. Either assume that the 7 cent microcoulomb is stationary or 15 is what is stationary. But in this case, let us assume that the 15 microcoulomb charge is stationary and this is the one that is moving so that the two are eventually 2 centimeters apart. So what are we going to do here? Remember, we said that work done is going to be equal to QV. That is work done. So it means that we're going to have to first find the potential difference. After finding the potential difference, then we shall simply multiply. Then we, we get the work done. So we begin with our explanation. So we first find the potential V. And from our previous tutorial, we derived the expression for potential difference. V is going to be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught multiply that by 1 over a minus 1 over b and we said that a is the shorter distance b is the longer distance so what is our value of a in this case if this thing has moved to 2 centimeters apart what's the potential difference so if we are assuming that 15 microcoulombs is the one that is stationary it means that our value of a is going to be 2 centimeters which is 0 0.02 meters and our value of B is the longer distance where this thing has come from, to move from here to here, which is 0 0.06 meters. So we simply substitute. So if this is the stationary one, it means that it's going to be Q over 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 over A minus 1 over B. So what is our value of Q in this case? Our value of Q is the stationary point, which is 15 microcoulombs. So it's going to be 15 microcoulombs which is going to be 15 times 10 to the power negative 6 over 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 over 0 0.02 minus 1 over 0 0.06 so we shall end up with now this is going to be equal to 15 times 10 to the power negative 6, multiply that by 9 times 10 to the power 9 into that. And our answer here will be 4.5 times 10 to the power 6 volts. So we continue with getting the potential. So V is going to be Q over 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 over A minus 1 over B. This is the expression for potential difference that we derived in our previous tutorial. Our value of Q in this regard is the stationary point we have chosen which is 15 microcoulombs. So substituting here is going to be 15 microcoulombs into 1 over 0 0.02 minus 1 over 0 0.06. 0 0.02 is our value of A which is so happens to be the shorter distance and 0 0.06 is our value of B which is the longer distance. And we said that 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 times 10 to the power 9 according to experimental observations. So it means that 15 times 10 to the power negative 6 over times 9 times 10 to the power 9 into whatever we have here in the brackets is going to give us 4.5 times 10 to the power negative 6. This is the potential difference V that we have gotten. So after getting our potential difference V now, we need to find the work done. The work done in moving this charge from here to 2 centimeters apart because that is what the question requires. So to get the work done, we know that work done is going to give us Q times V. What is our value of Q? The work done in moving a charge of 7 microcoulombs 
from this point to that point so that these two charges are two centimeters apart is going to be the Q which is the, the charge in question, the charge that is moving. So it is going to be equal to 7 microcoulombs which is 7 times 10 to the power negative 6 coulombs. Multiply that by the potential difference which is 4.5 times 10 to the power 6. And our value of work is going to be 31.5 joules. 31.5 joules and that is the work done in moving that 7 microcoulomb from 6 centimeters to 2 centimeters and that brings us to the end of our work example. I would like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you want more videos and for the benefit of your colleagues out there that would like to watch this tutorial simply share the video. Otherwise thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next tutorial. For Kisembo Academy, this is Arnold Ranga Kuramia.